We are in the Rio Grande Valley and we are mooch docking with Trippin' with the Chris's. Hey y'all. How's it going? And you can catch us at Trippin' with the Chris's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. That's right, go check them out, it's a lot of fun. We're gonna take you all around the Rio Grande Valley. That's right, we're gonna take you on a taco trail. We're gonna take you to go see Starlink over to South Padre Island and also on a boat tour down the Rio Grande River. You wanna stick around to the end to see us ward off Mother Nature's attack. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. We're here in Brownsville, Texas, the taco capital of the world. And on our way to explore today, we decided to stop here first to try El Ultimo Taco. And let's go in and give it a try. That's right. Now you've probably heard of the Bourbon Trail. Down here in Brownsville, they have the Taco Trail. And this is the number one restaurant on the Taco Trail list. So we're gonna go on in and check it out. Come on. <laughs> When we came in, they handed us paper menus, both in English and then some in Spanish. And on the menus, it was pretty basic. You had um, the list of each meat in the translation. There was beef, pork, there was uh, cow throat, uh, tripe, trefus, um, and a few others, I don't remember. And then you could either, either order the tacos individually like that, or they had uh, combo kind of things. And um, so what I ordered was three different kinds of beef. I don't remember what they were, but that's what I got. And I ordered mine without the um, avocado and onion. So this is the cheese and the cilantro. Well, they have three different sauces here. I'm gonna try each one separately and see uh, which one I like. Salsa verde. That's not too spicy. It has, it does have a little back end spice, but it's pretty flavorful. Regular red sauce. I guess it's regular red sauce. Pepper chunks in it. It's got a little spice on the back end too. <clears throat> this one has already been tested at the table and known to be very hot, so let me give it a shot. Can I get a half a, a half a drop? <laughs> I don't think that one's any hotter than, than the red one, uh, the red one over here. But they are very good. This one has a lot of the chunks in it though. There you go. Well, there you go. The number one restaurant in the Brownsville Taco uh, Trail. Yes. Now, I was kind of under impressed by the menu. I didn't even <laughs> think I was going to really find anything because it doesn't come like in a traditional restaurant um, with your uh, rice and beans um, or other side orders. Uh, but it does come with um, a kind of a, the, our friends ordered the beans separate and it was kind of like a soup. Yeah. Um, it was like pinto, but not pinto beans, and avocado and goat cheese, uh, queso fresco, and um, spices. We didn't try that, but the tacos were amazing. I had three, I wish I would have gotten more, <laughs> and I wish I would have gotten more of the pork tacos. Oh man. I got uh, a steak one, a pork taco, and also a shredded beef taco, and they were all very good. My favorite was the pork though. They say that the steak is the most popular one they sell here, and it was the very good. Yeah, the beef steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. <laughs> it was very good, but I preferred the pork a little bit better. There you go. If you're ever down here in Brownsville, come out to one of the taco uh, places and check it out. It was pretty good. Well, we're down here just off of Boca Chica Beach, and you can see behind us where SpaceX is actually getting ready to assemble one of their uh, latest rockets. From what we understand, they've, they've launched from here, but haven't made it into space yet. I guess they're just doing testing still. Suborbital. Suborbital, yep. So it's pretty cool down here. There are several people down here uh, with big cameras and big lenses getting ready for uh, some good pictures and video. 
Uh, we're driving through today with our friends the Chris's, so this is what you get. Yeah, and right next to it is the Boca Chica National Wildlife Refuge. It's supposed to be an excellent area for birding. I wish we had more time to spend here and hang out and just uh, sit on the beach, maybe even camp on the beach and watch the birds, watch this basic stuff going on. Um, I'm not into all that geeky stuff, but it is pretty cool to <laughs> <laughs> try and learn a little bit about it. And um, it's pretty cool to actually just make it down here and see this in person. That's right. And you know, the more of them they launch from here and actually make it into space, the better our Starlink gets. Yep, keep them coming. <laughs> Absolutely. Now we're here in South Padre Island. That's right, we came all the way from looking at the SpaceX to driving around South Padre, and our friends are taking us to Clayton's, the biggest beach bar in Texas. Yep, looks like it's gonna be right on the water, guys. Let's go on in and check it out. Come on. Well, there it was, Clayton's. We couldn't get a lot for you in there because there was, I guess you could call it live entertainment. <laughs> it was entertaining, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We made a quick stop at Bob's World on the way back home for ice cream. I got Bluebell coffee and uh, some brownie one. What'd you get? I got better brownie batter. And this place is not only ice cream. We've seen this place driving by. It's got all kinds of statues, animal statues outside, big dinosaurs and all. So there's an entertainment complex that is closed today. And like a beachy Big uh, gift store. store. Yeah, big gift store. Today, we're going on a two hour cruise. <laughs> I think we've got Gilligan along with us too, but we're gonna cruise the Rio Grande River. That's right, we're here at Rio Grande Tours. We're gonna go on in, get on a boat, and go up and down the river for two hours. Should be fun. Let's go check it out. Come on. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody Slow it down, put yourself at ease Time to live it live Get away from the do and do Thank you. 
Well, we're a few minutes into the tour and enjoying it. We've seen attractions both on the U.S. side and the Mexico side. The um, narrator is telling us all about the attractions on the boat, or on the land. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool going right up the uh, Rio Grande River because on one side, obviously, we have the U.S. That's behind you guys. And behind us back here, this is the Mexico side of the river. Having a good time. Under the lazy evening sun But I ease on come and swing, come and swing Through the local but I ease on Under the lazy evening sun is what they they would use to cross. We've seen some birds. I was hoping to see some alligators. They said we might see alligators. Uh, didn't see any alligators, no snakes. Uh, there were a few turtles. Um, what else? I can't think of uh, what else. Oh, the houses. We saw some really nice houses, some sporting complexes. It's been a nice tour so far. Get away, don't let it close. after the boat tour to have lunch and Chris here tripping the Chris's he Chris said you gotta get the pork chop oh, yeah. sandwich look yep. at this the bun <laughs> is like this and all the rest of this pork chop I think we should have split this it looks good he says it's good we're gonna not take his word for it we're gonna try it for ourselves and Chris got the nachos very delicious nachos I always get these Well, we're down here just off of Boca Chica Beach, and behind us you can see where they launch the... <laughs> Did you see that bug flying right in front of the camera? Yes. Yeah, right in front of the lake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> Get out of the way. More. It's photobombing us. Yeah. Crazy bee. Which, which time? Hello! I'm Charlie Grace with Charlie Grace Adventures, and join us next time on Jarhead and Ginger's Journey.